Welcome home, residents. It's your mayor, Alistair, back once again. And today we're diving deep into the monstrous universe of Godzilla Kong The New Empire. The film features tons of deadly gigantic beasts, but there's one titan who's left perhaps the biggest impression on viewers, the ruthless and formidable villain, the Scar King. A new addition to the Godzilla and Kong franchise has quickly become one of the most talked about characters since the film's release. But who is this mysterious ruler and what makes him such a formidable foe? And is he as powerful as hyped up before the film released? Well, strap in, let's get to it. The Scar King is a force to be reckoned with. With a long, lanky build, super speed, and bone whiplash, he stands out from the crowd of grey apes and managed to keep the civilization of Kongs under his control. His intimidating demeanor alone is enough to strike fear into the hearts of his enemies. But it's not just his physical appearance that makes the Scar King so terrifying. It's his origins. According to the movie's lore, the Scar King is a legendary creature from the depths of the Hollow Earth a realm filled with ancient and powerful monsters. Locked away by Godzilla during the Great Titan War, he's said to be the ruler of a subterranean domain hidden from plain sight, commanding legions of loyal followers to do his bidding. And even though he's only 318 feet tall, shorter than both Godzilla and Kong, this behemoth possesses an arsenal of devastating abilities that make him a true force of nature. He is incredibly agile, being able to maneuver across the battlefield in ways Kong could only dream. This evened the playing fields when going up against even the king of the monsters. But it's not just his physical capabilities, his intelligence allows him to plan up war strategies and execute well-thought-out attacks, being the mastermind of the great ape species. And with his intelligence, he's one of the few that is able to fully utilize weaponry such as the Bone Whip that gave him an immediate advantage in ranged combat. Made from the spine of a war bat, it gives Scar an 800-foot gap which allows him to disarm and slice his enemies into submission. And with it, he's able to choke Kong whilst gleefully smiling at his demise. But it's not only the whiplash that makes Scar so powerful, but his army at his disposal. By being an Alpha Titan, he is able to round up lower Titans and use them against his enemies. And with the power of numbers, is able to overpower those that stand before him. This comes in the form of the Kongs that decided to side with him to keep the masses in line and, in turn, were granted specific benefits like a better standard of living. But not only these, he also has the gigantic Frost Titan, Shimo, under his control. The one whose power covered the Earth in the first Ice Age. He commands her to do his bidding, using the crystal at the end of the whip. This is most likely a piece of Shimo that was broken off and is telepathically linked to the Frost Titan, which means Scar can inflict pain to the point Shimo has no other choice but to bend to his will, utilizing her powers against his enemies. This is capable of blocking out the sun and commencing the process of creating a brand new Ice Age, and can also instantly freeze combative titans, rendering them defenseless. Using Shimo and his ape army, Scar earns the title as a world-ending threat. But he's also incredibly durable, withstanding several blasts from Godzilla's evolved spiral ray, and even punches from Kong's bionically enhanced beast glove. Though while Scar is a formidable foe on paper, there are some weaknesses that do hold him back from standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with other villains like Mechagodzilla or the Devil with Three Heads. While Scar is agile, he doesn't pack the most powerful of punches in the Great Ape species. He is thin, old, and smaller than Kong, which means that assaults can knock him clean out or leave him at the mercy of Shimo, who has to save him on several occasions. And without his whiplash, he is at a severe disadvantage. 
and even more so when the crystal is destroyed, severing Scar's ability to control Shimo, the Red Ape has no power over anyone, being thrown about like he was nothing, leading us to believe that Scar only gained his power by cruelty and the weapons at his disposal instead of sheer physical prowess. Eventually, his own weapon turned on him as he was frozen by Shimo and shattered into thousands of pieces by Kong freeing the Frost Titan from the clutches of her oppressor and ridding the world of the Red Conqueror. So, with the strengths and weaknesses taken into account, was Scar King really the world-ending threat that we anticipated? And does it even hold a candle to the other villains of the MonsterVerse? Well, no. Scar King was not the most powerful Titan. He's less durable than Mechagodzilla and less powerful than Ghidorah but he's the smartest and most evil, filled to the brim with hatred. So he doesn't need to be the most powerful. Sometimes you just need a formidable and memorable foe for our alpha titans to beat down. As long as he's made an impression, that makes him a worthy villain. The Scar King is a dangerously brutal, sadistic, highly malevolent, and tyrannical titan that rules with an iron fist. He takes pleasure in mistreating his subjects, relishing in their suffering, and he doesn't have the gravity beams or metal-plated armor or six arms, but he's got style and is ruthless, and was enough of a threat where he and his rallied army worried Godzilla enough to power up in order to defeat him. And what's truly fascinating about the Scar King in his motivations is, unlike some villains who are driven by a thirst for power or revenge, the Scar King's goals are shrouded in mystery. Some speculate that he seeks to conquer the surface world and establish himself as the ultimate ruler, whilst others believe he's simply defending his territory from intruders like Godzilla and Kong. There's plenty of room for exploring this character outside of the new empire, and it's laid the groundwork for diving deep into the history of the MonsterVerse. The Scar King instigated the Great Titan War we've heard of for so many years now, and I'd love to see that explored in a TV series to really get to know his motivations and see more about this great character. But whatever his intentions may be, one thing's for sure. The Scar King is a force of nature unlike anything our beloved kaiju heroes have ever faced before. This is the first simian monster Kong has ever faced, the first mammal antagonist of the MonsterVerse, and the smartest foe yet opposed. And whilst he might not be the strongest, his cunning and sheer wickedness propels him to being one of the best villains the franchise has ever seen. It's incredibly hard to compare the strengths and weaknesses of one villain against another since they're all so different from one another, but we plan on making a long comparison analysis on which villain is the most powerful, so be sure to subscribe to keep up to date on that. What did you think about the Scar King? Did he live up to the hype? Let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this vid a big old goji-sized thumbs up if you want more Titan breakdowns. I've been Alistair, and we'll see you, residents, in the next one.